And it's this idea that to grow a big brain, to evolve a big brain, I should say, humans have had to evolve a smaller gut. Before we get to sort of the work that you've done and what your answer is today, mm -hmm. what have some of the traditional explanations or hypotheses been around how you might start to explain this? Sure. So the classic um, idea, and this actually goes back to the 1800s. This is sort of an early post-Darwin idea. Um, the first, uh, I mean, even kind of pre-Darwin, like Goethe talks about this, but anyway, um, not with humans specifically, but the idea that there are these trade-offs. And so um, the first anthropology, human evolution kind of version of this comes out in the 1800s, but it really becomes uh, kind of canon it, with a really important paper in 1995 uh, by Leslie uh, Aiello, uh, Leslie Aiello and um, Peter Wheeler. Uh, and it's this idea that to grow a big brain, to evolve a big brain, I should say, humans have had to evolve a smaller gut. Mm -hmm. And so your gut, you know, different organs are sort of different in how many calories they burn per minute. Um, some energy, some organs are really expensive, we, we talk about, some organs are less so. But brains are really active and mm -hmm. really energetically expensive, and, and so are your, your digestive tract and liver. And so the idea in this Aiello and Wheeler paper in 1995, uh, they say, well, humans have evolved a smaller gut, um, probably because we eat meat, and which is easier to digest and more energy dense. Um, and now more recently, because we cook our food as well, so that both of these things have shrunk how much our work our, neat, our digestive tracts need to do. And that has freed energy up for something else. And in our case, you wouldn't expect in every species case, but in our case, those extra calories, the, the, the you know, selection evolution has favored those extra calories to go to big brains. Uh, and so for a long time, um, I guess now for 30 years, right, 30 years ago, uh, that became just canon, right? That was accepted as the reason and, and the why and the how that humans have evolved these expensive traits. So the basic idea is, okay, we've got these big brains to explain, and we've got this human paradox to explain. So mm -hmm. the basic idea here is to have a bigger, more expensive brain, you've got to take that energy from somewhere else. And perhaps humans took it away from organs in the GI tract. And so you basically have a, a let's just call it a smaller gut overall. It's using less energy. And then that yeah. energy is taken and used to create a big brain. That's the idea. 